Hello. Good afternoon. I am Cece Rivera. And today, I want to focus on how to deal with rejection and bounce back stronger than ever after you have dealt with rejection. Rejection is truly difficult and hard to swallow, but it doesn't have to be. There are all types of rejection. The thought of rejection from work, you might be rejected for a date, your spouse might reject you in some way, and that can be pretty hurtful sometimes. Maybe your latest book was rejected by a publishing company. These things happen on a regular basis. Most of us make two common mistakes. We take rejection personally and we fail to learn from rejection. Rejection is going to happen no matter what, but you learn to make the most of it. Rejection can be a stepping stone to something greater coming up in your life. So let's look at nine ways to improve de with dealing with rejection. One, consider the source of the rejection. Some rejections don't mean anything and there's nothing to learn from it. Absolutely nothing to learn from it. For example, if you were rejected when asking someone for a date, there's probably not much you can learn from that. Everyone has their own preference and their own issues. However, if you were rejected for a job, there might be something you can learn from the rejection. Number two, seek to grow from the rejection. Use the rejection as a chance to grow and improve. Find out why you were rejected and use the information to better yourself. For example, if you didn't get the job because you were too nervous during the interview, you know what you need to work on next time. Number three, be kind to yourself. If you're not getting rejected at all, you're not trying very hard. So be nice to yourself. Remind yourself that rejection is a part of life. Encourage yourself to do better next time and to persist. Number four, talk to a mentor or a friend. If you're feeling down, a good friend can give you the emotional support you need at such a challenging time. A good mentor can give you advice that will help you in the future. Number five, remember your successes. You don't fail or receive rejection all of the time. You've had plenty of successes too. So you need to look at that and you need to notice that. Remember your successes and your, you'll gain back your self-confidence and be ready for another attempt when you are rejected. Number six, use rejection as an opportunity to be excited. Most of success is doing what others aren't willing to do. The average person gives up quite easily. You separate yourself from the pack just when you push forward and refuse to quit. Number seven, plan ahead for failure. Expect that you'll face failure and rejection from time to time, that it's very normal. If you're ready for it, it will be easier to manage when it happens. You might even have a plan in place for how you'll handle the failure. When you are prepared for the worst, your fears completely fade. Number eight, avoid worrying. Now, this might sound easier than said and done, of course but you can choose not to worry about it or worry about it. Just decide that you're not going to worry about rejection and get on with living your life. For example, if a spouse decides to leave you and you feel rejected, in time you will learn from the rejection and what it offers you in strength. So appreciate it. 
Number nine, avoid making it, taking it personal. Okay. We don't like rejection because we take it personally. So approximately 99% of the rejection you'll experience has nothing to do with you personally. You simply did the wrong thing or didn't possess the right mix of characteristics at that time. You're constantly evolving. You might not be the right person for a particular situation, but just like a fork is not used to eat a bowl of cereal with milk, but the fork still serves its purpose and it has great value. Rejection doesn't need to be fatal or final. It's it's not a final moment of determination. There are endless number of opportunities in the world and rejection is always a possibility. If you fear rejection, you're severely limiting yourself. Rejection is a common result of reaching for more. So go ahead and reach for more. Use the rejection in a way to further your development, enhance your life. Do not fear rejection. Clearly take time to thank every rejection because it merely helps you to become a better version of yourself. Love and healing.